Welcome to the greatest celebration of water on Earth. From the 14th of June to the 14th of September 2008, you have an important date in Zaragoza, Spain. On a site covering more than 25 hectares, you can enjoy architecture, culture, gastronomy and shows from all over the world. Discover Expo Zaragoza 2008 with us. Bridge Pavilion. This is one of the three entrances to the expo site. Its organic shape resembles a gladiolus. It opens and closes as if it were just one more natural element of the river and its banks. Inside it is the venue for the water, a unique resource exhibition that gives an insight into the importance of improving global water resource management. Aquatic Inspirations. A shell-shaped building will host an outstanding contemporary water-based theatrical event. The idea was conceived and developed by Pichon Baldinou. Convention Center. This very distinctive building houses several meeting rooms and exhibition spaces. It is the venue for Water Tribune debates and conferences and will also host a range of cultural events and shows. Water Tower. Standing 86 meters high, this building has a base shaped like a drop of water and a facade covered by a glazed curtain. It is one of the most imposing architectural landmarks of 21st century Zaragoza. It will be the venue for the Water for Life exhibition, which is a discourse in favor of the human being as part of nature. Participating Countries Pavilion. This unique sinuous complex will be the location for the more than 100 participating countries. A play of light combined with the original color schemes of the facades will give the impression of different landscapes. Aragon Pavilion. Its glass and metal structure resembles a wicker basket inspired by the traditional local craft. Its skylights will be illuminated by night, giving the impression of fruit in a basket. Inside there will be an exhibition on Aragon as a land with a vast array of landscapes. Pavilion of Autonomous Regions, Companies and Institutions. This will house the exhibitions and restaurants of each autonomous region, as well as the exhibitions of private companies and Spanish and international institutions. Spain Pavilion. Its original design is inspired by the spaces and lights seen in the black poplar forests along the Ebro River banks. The building will have a large roof supported by a forest of ceramic pillars. River Aquarium. This will be the largest river aquarium in the world. It is the venue for the Waterscapes exhibition, featuring the ecosystems of five great world rivers, the Ebro, Mekong, Nile, Amazon and Murray-Darling rivers, and a composite space called the World River. At ground level, along the river bank, Five smaller, specifically themed exhibitions will help visitors to experience, understand and learn awareness for the key issues linked to water and sustainable development. Shared water. We all drink from the same glass. The traditional political maps designed by humans are replaced with a map of river basins created by nature. It explains the advantages of adopting a more respectful vision based on the shared use of water and the environment. Cities on water. Water, key to the metabolism of cities. This is a reflection on the importance of water as an essential element in the constitution of cityscapes, focusing on the importance of riversides and coastlines in order to improve the quality of life for its inhabitants. 
Oikos, water and energy, respectful use and production. This is an invitation to gain an insight into the negative effects of mass fossil fuel use and to become aware of water as an economic and environmentally friendly alternative for energy production and storage. Thirst. Thirst is necessary. This will be an exhibition showing how the need for water has been a driving force behind cultural development. It shows how civilizations intensify their ingenuity to create hydraulic techniques for water exploitation. Extreme water, appropriate management of the risks posed by climate. The sensations produced by hurricanes, tsunamis or gota fria Metrological phenomena are recreated. We are shown the significance of the risks behind water-related natural disasters, their inevitability and the importance of appropriate management to reduce their impact. Citizens Initiative Pavilion, The Beacon. This pavilion resembling an old earthenware drinking vessel is constructed from natural materials with straw insulation and mud coating. The space will be used by citizens, organizations and NGOs from around the world to make proposals and demonstrate positive experiences. Remember, from the 14th of June to the 14th of September 2008, you have a date in Zaragoza. We're expecting you.